Hi guys, in previous video we learned about how to go ahead and add a reducer which are nothing but functions which checks the actions type and then in turn a new state and update the store with the new state. Uh, we also learned how to create a store and then we were listening to the store by subscribing it using subscribe function and we were getting the current state value whenever the store value was uh, store was changed. And then we also learned about using action creators to create actions. So you can see this is an action creator which they are nothing but functions which return uh, actions which are objects. So this is action and this is creating an action and then we are dispatching that action using store dot dispatch. Okay, so this is going to dispatch this action. Okay, so now in this video we're going to learn about how to combine multiple reducers. So currently we have one reducer. If we have to combine multiple reducers when we have several reducers then how do we do that okay so let's say that uh, this reducer will be reducer user okay we'll name it as reducer user and let's convert this into an arrow function it's much easier that way <coughs> okay and instead of checking if condition we can use switch that will be much better and since we have action available as parameter we can check action dot type and we can say whenever the type is uh, username <coughs> then go ahead and set the state go ahead and put the value of the state to be first take the value of the previous state using spread operator and then append name to it and put the name value to be action dot payload which is basically this information okay so and uh, let's create another action creator let's put the name as get user age and changes to age and we will change this to 28 and let's dispatch an action for this as well get user age okay now we'll again check another type if it's user age then set the age value equal to action not payload okay and then return state so what's happening over here is that we have created two actions using these action creators first action creators get username second action creators get user age which are returning the actions which are objects and then I'm using store dot dispatch to dispatch these actions okay so once these actions are dispatched uh, you know you re sorry reducers will be notified and reducer will check what type of action it is and depending on the uh, case uh, whether, whether it's a user name or user age it's going to set the value of state why I'm using spread operator so that whatever the va initial value of state is it's just going to append that if the value of name already exists it's going to override that value but still keep all other properties inside of the state so we're not going to lose the initial state so that's why we're using the spread operator of ES6 great um, so now we have the first reducer now let's create another re reducer as well so construct const okay const uh, reducer and maybe we can say job profile right and uh, then it takes the first parameter as state let's set it to initial state to empty object and then it takes action as a second parameter and then over here let's create a couple more uh, actions using action creator so I will create function get job detail and I can just return an action which will be type job detail and payload let's say web developer okay great so again we need to dispatch the action for this to work so we'll just say get job detail okay now inside of this we can sh do the same thing which is check the type of the action and this time we'll check job detail as a type and set the value of state to be um, 
let's say job and will be action not payload okay now we need to combine these two reducers because now we have more than one reducer so redux provides us with another method called combined reducers so we just need to import that and then we can say const reducers you can name it whatever you want I'm saying reducers and combine reducers and then it takes an object okay so the first one I can name it as uh, user what's the name of the function you can say user details okay and then first one is user what's the name let me just check reducer user okay so I'll pass that and the second one job details and we'll put that as reducer job profile okay and now instead of passing just reducer we'll put reducers because it's going to combine these two reducers and just uh, go ahead and pass these two together okay much cleaner that way so okay let me just check okay guys the reason why we are getting this error undefined is because remember the reducer needs to return a state we forgot to return the state that's why it got an error so sure enough now you can see how does this work the first time an event is dispatched sorry the action is dispatched okay uh, which is the case type is action type is username so this got triggered okay so this re reducer user is going to check the action type and going to go ahead and put this name inside of the initial state so initial state was empty there was nothing inside of it so that's why you can see in user details uh, okay I think we missed the break statement that's why we're getting error here as well so it was going in the second condition as well it needs to break okay now let's check <coughs> so you can see the first time this condition was met this case was met that's why the initial state was uh, empty and we just filled the name with uh, the action dot payload which was Imran that's why you see over here you get nothing uh, apart from that the next time user age got triggered and the type was user age so this reducer checked that it was user age so earlier the state was name with Imran so it's going to append age to that so let's see if that's what it is you can see that earlier then the previous state was Imran and then it appended age to that the last one uh, where the action is dispatched get job detail then this condition was met okay and at that time the state value was including the name and the age so that's why we still have the name and the age and the job details has been updated okay so as you can see that how you can combine reducers multiple reducers and still go ahead and get those values okay so just to recap once again okay so when an action first of all we are creating these actions using action creators okay and when the action is dispatched uh, then reducer gets the action including the type and the payload okay and it checks the type it checks the type of it and then goes ahead and creates a new state with the updated values and then updates your store with that and because we are listening to the uh, store using subscribe we are able to get the state of the store every time the store state changes or it's updated by the reducer so that's how it works okay brilliant so in the next video we will discuss further